Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm out for a solo hot tent overnighter. Stay tuned and enjoy. Okay guys, so I just got here a little while ago, about 20 minutes ago. Started the fire, used... It was just so late and getting dark, I just used some uh, fire starting stick things, you know. So I got the fire going good now, and uh, for once, I'm going to cook something that's actually not pre-packaged. I'm going to cook some steak and uh, baked beans, so let's do it. Another thing I forgot to mention is that I brought my candle uh, holder kind of thing with uh, homemade candles that I just made a few days ago. Homemade beeswax taper candles, so it's really nice to have those in there because I don't usually use the big lights when uh, the camera's off. Well guys, here's dinner, and man does it ever look good, this is some of the best stuff I ever cooked out here, so, I mean, anyone who watches me before knows that I usually just make Mr. Noodles, so, this is definitely a step up, and I'm excited to eat it, but I still gotta clean the dishes after and everything, that's the only issue with making something good, which shouldn't be too hard at all. The cast iron, I'll just uh, put some water in, boil it. Same with the pot, pretty much, so should not be too difficult. Hey guys, I finished dinner and I did the dishes, so uh, I'm just about to go to bed. I'm just going to boil up some tea first. And uh, I'd say it's about time for me just to say goodnight and uh, see you in the morning.
Morning guys. I had a great sleep last night. Uh, as you saw that I already made some coffee this morning and I decided to wait till it's light to make breakfast. It's light now, so let's make some breakfast. So, uh, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this, but I like to just make the oatmeal in the packet whenever I'm out camping because you can just burn the packet after instead of having to clean out a... Usually I used to make it in a cup uh, instead of having to clean out the cup or bowl or whatever you have. It's just way easier. Yeah, I learned that trick from Joe Robinette. Yeah, I think that's who. So, anyway... I'll go ahead and eat this, um, and then we'll get on with our day. Okay guys, so uh, I've eaten breakfast and everything, so I'm ready to start the day. Um, first things first is I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle because I used it all with making breakfast. And then I'm gonna go scout some firewood. I won't bring the camera for the original scouting trip because it's just gonna be boring just walking up this hill and uh, eyeing out some trees, but I will bring you with for chopping them down and bucking them up. Okay guys, so now I got some water and uh, I'm just gonna go scout out some trees and I'll be right back. Back from my wood scouting trip now and it's far enough that I'm actually gonna pack a bag with my camera gear and my couple saws and everything to go up there but there is a lot of dead wood so I have no worries about uh, wood this winter and I'm hoping to build up my cache a bit more today. A lot of it's some pretty thick stuff so I'm gonna have to wait for the snow again for that but there is some smaller diameter trees that I'm hoping to cut today and I'm hoping to get a good chopping block, so let's go. Hey guys, a bit steep here as you can see. I almost forgot to film, I'm pretty much on my way down. I skidded out some really, really nice trees. I'll probably be able to more than fill up the firewood shed this uh, winter. But as I keep saying, we're gonna have to wait till the snow falls so I can uh, put them on a sled. But this one right here, definitely a few nights worth of wood, a few days, probably four days, I'd guess, from just seeing it right here. But I'm going to cut it down. And I never ended up being able to uh, get a chopping block up here like I was hoping because uh, the tree that I was wanting to get it from was just too rotten. So, these are pretty small diameter trees, so I'm not going to worry about trying to do any notches or anything like that. I'm just gonna kinda cut it down. I started cutting with that thing, but this saw is just easier for little trees. Okay. Now all I'll have to do is simply push it over. that right there 
Now the bottom of this tree is kind of rotten. I already knew that, but the rest of it should be super nice dry wood. I'm gonna delimit since I have such thick forest to go through, so there's gonna be a slight waste of wood there, but like I said, there's some huge trees that I've, uh, I'm gonna be able to get this winter. So, I'll buck this up and meet you guys back at camp. So as you can see, I made it back. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little while. It took a little break. And man, is it frigid here. It's one degree right now. Uh, it's about noon, or not noon, one o'clock, sorry. So, man, yeah, winter is, I'm surprised it hasn't snowed here yet with it pretty much staying at one degree all the time. I definitely should have brought some light gloves because my fingers are freezing. All I brought was like some tough winter mitts, you know, that uh, keep me warm at minus 20. Keep me hot, my hands too hot at minus 20, so it's a little too warm to use those still. So I'll do a quick time lapse of bucking this up and then I think I'm going to start a fire back in the hot tent because I did let it go out. Hey guys, so as you can see, we cut up all the firewood, and uh, I was surprised to see that it actually pretty much doubles all the stock that I had, so all I was hoping to do was replenish what I had burnt, so this is really good news, and it's large diameter, really dry wood, compared to all that stuff was somewhat wet, like, so... So I'm just going to go stack this and then I'm going to quickly start a fire. I'm probably just going to use the little fire starters again, but I'll film it this time. So. Okay, so I already loaded up the stove. I just need to pretty much light a match and light it up. See if I can do this with one hand. So now I'll just close the door until it's only a little bit open. I find that that really helps the draw start fast. And I should be good within a few minutes. Be back when the fire is going good. Hey guys, uh, sorry, a bit of time has gone by since I said that I'd show you the stove as soon as it was ready. I've just been reading and stuff. Uh, so, uh, the stove's obviously going good now. Uh, I'm cleaning my frying pan from last night. I'm gonna leave that up here. Sorry about taking last week off. Uh, I, I don't know, I thought I'd just take a little break, a one week break, but I actually missed it a lot, so I don't think I'll be taking many more of those. Um, also, a mouse got into my tent, which I never thought, never crossed my mind that a uh, mouse would be the thing to destroy my stuff, and I'm glad I didn't leave my sleeping bag here, because I was thinking about just leaving my sleeping bag. But it ripped up uh, two gloves. So, that's okay, it was, it was my fire gloves, but I still got my right-handed ones, so that's all good. But, they were also pretty nice for working when it wasn't, you know, minus 20. My thing's saying that I need to change the battery, and I'm about ready to make some dinner. So, we'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, got a new battery, and uh, starting to boil up some water for the Mr. Noodles, yeah. Back to normal Mr. Noodles again. Only one gourmet meal per camping trip, I guess, so. But anyway, yeah guys, this trip's been really fun. Uh, next time I'm actually gonna try to build a table. When I go home, I'm gonna research, you know, the best way of trying to build a table with, you know, little to no tools. And see if I can do that, so I'm excited to do that. 
the candle burned really well last night other than the fact that before it was leaned more towards the stove so it melted half of the candle pretty much uh, so you know most of the candle just got wasted but I got six more here that I'm just gonna leave here that I made so that shouldn't be an issue lots of many hours of light there got a good wood supply going in here and all the woods super dry now like when I take it in it's actually interesting because I can hear it all crackling as uh, it starts checking from the heat of the wood stove drying it out fully hey guys I just finished eating and I'm just finishing packing up to leave uh, once again it's kinda late when I'm leaving I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to walk home in the dark or not because it is about a hour or two hour and a half walk back to where I can be picked up so but here it is so I really had fun this trip and I hope you enjoyed and if you did please rate comment subscribe and if you'd like notifications hit the bell thank you and have a great day